the, the systems that we're working in, when we think about them talking about the circular economy, and I think even social systems, is that they try to create um, enclosures, either like at different scales, like small scale enclosures and larger scale enclosures as as sort of these test beds and test labs. And so you're you're working in the system, in these cybernetic systems, but it's not an open and organic system. It is a, a closed and a mechanical system. And so when I was looking up the cybernetics, um, I'll just read this definition. It says, it was coined from the Greek word, I can't read Greek, um, in the 40s by a pioneer of high-speed digital computing, Norbert Wiener, to describe the entire field of control and communication theory, whether in the machine or in the animal. And that's from Cybernetics, 1948. And his message was twofold. With the right systems of feedback in place, mechanical control systems could achieve the level of independent operation and agency traditionally associated with biological organisms. Okay, so machines could act as biological organisms. And then through the careful study of how feedback systems regulate biological organisms, organisms could be understood and manipulated like machines. So there we go, we were talking about that before. So for example, by modeling the evasive behavior of a fighter pilot as an oscillating feedback system, they, he could develop a gun to predict a path of enemy planes. And so he could make these predictions. And that's what we keep talking about with social impact and gamified life is that they're making predictions, they're putting you in an enclosed system, they're tracking your past behavior, they're predicting your future behavior, they're monitoring it within a feedback loop, and then their financial systems and defense systems really and intelligence systems are placing bets. And what was a bit overwhelming to me was today when I was trying to pull up the cybernetics definition was that Google Cloud actually has an open source system now called Kubernetes. <laughs> and, and increasingly it's sort of like, they, they talk about containerized systems. And I think Jason, what you were saying before is that the, the technology is getting to the point that it's created in sort of modular units that you don't necessarily have to have high level technical expertise to operate. Like it's not at the same level of coding that people were using when they were trying to do these vacuum tubes in the 1940s, that you kind of have these plug and play systems, but you don't really know what's in the box. You're just given a box and you're tell, told how it works and that it's good for you and it's convenient. Um, but we're starting to put together all of these modules of AI and data analytics, and we're building these twins, but I think we don't have a comprehensive view of how it's all working. Gotcha. But you can, you can see the logo of it is um, a steering wheel. So they, they're, they're steering, we are being steered. 